What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we're back with another Marvel Snap video. And yes, you saw that right. No, I didn't get M'Baku from a collector's reserve. I spent 3,000 of my hard-earned valuable tokens on this card. And today, my friends, we're gonna try to see if we can make this card, M'Baku, work, all right? But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris, and if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. We are trying to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the month. I'm looking at the date over here. We have eight days left. We are only 100 away. So if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, just tap that button. Just give a little press, a little clickety-do, all right? Because I promise you, I'm gonna provide you with so much amazing content, it might blow your brain up, all right? But here at this channel, I do like to make videos breaking down decks, cards, trying out different strategies, discussing strategies, and mainly covering the competitive aspect. Like, if you wanna rank up and hit infinite, right? When battle mode comes out, when tournaments start, all that. If you wanna get better at this game, subscribe to this channel, all right? And you can also join our awesome Discord community, Linked down in the description below. A ton of cool people in there. And follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ over on Twitter if you want to be part of our monthly giveaways for the season pass. We got the uh, Ant-Man Quantum Mania season coming up. By the way, got my tickets. It's going to be sick. Uh, but yeah, I give away the season passes. And you also want to follow me on Twitter because I have some cool announcements coming up and I'm going to be announcing them usually on social media, so on Twitter. So follow me over there. If you don't have an account, just make an account. It takes like two seconds. All right. Anyways, let's get started. So yeah, so here's a little backstory of why I bought this card. So like, I am very stingy with my tokens. A lot of you who know me, you know I am very stingy with my tokens. And lately I finally wanted some cards. First I was debating on Galactus, then I wanted Thanos. But then this guy kept popping up. The way the, way the token shop is set up right now is it's brutal, it's brutal. There's like, I think once your series three complete, there's like a 65% chance that series four cards will show up in your token shop, right? And uh, M'Baku is the last Series 4 card that I don't have. So he was showing up constantly, over and over and over and over again, right? So anyways, if you watched my, uh, one of my last videos, I actually got Galactus for free from a collector's reserve, which is mind blowing. A lot of people still haven't gotten a single Series 5 card from the reserves. I was one of those people, Galactus showed up. So basically I was like, you know what? I was debating on getting Galactus for three uh, for 6,000 tokens. I just got him for free. I want M'Baku out of my freaking token shop. Whatever, I'll get him, I'll get him. So those of you who don't know about our boy M'Baku over here. By the way, I said this on Twitter. Like the dude, uh, Winston, I forgot his last name, who plays M'Baku in the Black Panther movies. The dude's dope. He's in that movie, um, uh, Us, uh, from Jordan Peele and stuff. He's a great dude, great actor. It sucks that they made his card so garbage. So. If this is in your deck at the end of the game, it jumps to a random location, all right? Like, it's it's not too great, right? It could it could screw you over, right? Like, what if he jumps into Bar With No Name? You know, whatever. Uh, so he's become a bit of a meme. So anyways, I got him to clear out my token shop, all right? And uh, so today, I'm actually gonna be using a deck list that I saw Specimen using, and it seemed like one of the most rational ways to use M'Baku, okay? So basically, it's in a Lockjaw deck. So one of the issues, I played around with this deck, is M'Baku, for some godforsaken reason, just shows up in your hand, right? Like, bro, you're only useful if you're in my deck. Don't show up in my hand. Personally, personally, I think, like, because Second Dinner has said this, and they said this during, like, the patch updates and everything, they want, they want cards that don't get that much play, uh, they want to buff those, right, to make them better. But lately, and I've ranted about this before, they just adjust the power levels and stuff like that. Like, don't do not do that. Like, they need to start changing descriptions. Like, I really think that if M'Baku was, like, his description was, this card is always in your deck, it never leaves your deck, like, it would make it a viable, useful, interesting card, right? You could put them in zoo decks, cerebro decks, whatever you wanted to, right? And it's very surprising. It's It catches your opponent off guard. You never know if Mbaku is just sitting in your deck, right? Like once like, you know, meta decks come out and stuff, people might start, you know, suspecting it, but that would like make this a good card. So if they buff Mbaku, don't just give them like plus one power, like make it so he's always in your deck. All right, but anyway, Specimen set up like this Lockjaw type deck. I played around with it. Uh, didn't have too much luck, but here, you guys can join me um, because uh, yeah, M'Baku might show up in your reserves. 
um, and anything. Like, would I spend two, three thousand tokens on them? Probably not. I am, uh, you know, I I'm serious. We complete. I invest into this game um, with money that comes in through the YouTube channel. I reinvest it in here so I can review cards, decks, and stuff. So if I was just an average person, I just wouldn't do it. I would just have Baku show up in my uh, token shop until the end of time, until they downgrade them to Series Three. But yeah, look, I have uh, five thousand tokens left. I can get, you know, by the time uh, the end of the month rolls around, I'm guessing I'll have six thousand. So that's one Series Five, two Series Four. So I would not waste it on. Baku. They, I really wish they would have downgraded him to Series 3 for this upcoming thing, but they didn't. All right. But anyways, anyways, uh, yeah, let's jump into some games. All right. Okay. Starting off good. No Mbaku. We got uh, we got some Lockjaw. All right. And by the way, if you don't know me too, I'm not a fan of like Lockjaw decks. I'm not a fan of Jubilee decks, but here's the new Jubilee. By the way, by the way, if you have $5 to spare, go get this bundle. For the love of God, go get the new uh, Lunar New Year Jubilee bundle. It's $5, you get 500 credits, 500 gold, really, really good deal. I believe Jeff Hoagland made a breakdown. It's the best deal since the Welcome Bundle with Captain America. But anyways, get this bundle because it will show Second Dinner what we all want. Everybody keeps screaming to Second Dinner, hey, make cheaper bundles. Did they just snap on me? They're like, hey, make cheaper bundles, make cheaper bundles, make cheaper bundles. Ugh, can't say that fast. Dang it, M'Baku, what are you doing? So anyways, if we get these, if we buy these up, okay, they're gonna start making more of them, but we have to prove it to them. So for the love of God, if you have $5 to spare, go do it, okay? This guy doesn't realize I'm talking to all of you. He snapped, so I'll make him wait, you know? He probably thinks I'm like really thinking about it. No, I'm just telling you to get the bundle. I hope this person gets the bundle too. Let's get that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Lockjaw and then hopefully get M'Baku back into my deck. What are you running? Okay. We'll drop a little Thor on the left, a little M'Baku on the right. So the goal is we're getting M'Baku back into the uh, into the thing. I w I'm wondering why this person snapped so early. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not gonna play Jubilee yet. I might play Jubilee next turn. <clears throat> Like this must be the best, this this must be the best destroy deck ever. This person's like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm snapping. I got the best destroy deck ever made. Oh, cool, thanks Wasp. Yeah, let's see if that helps your destroy deck. <laughs> I just, I really wanna leech this guy just to mess with his brain. Hey, and M'Baku's still in the deck. Like, dude, this card, it just, like, comes back. It comes back into your hand. It is so weird. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, Arg. Oh, my M'Baku. My M'Baku. Will that do anything? Will that do anything by bringing them here? If I bring this middle, this brings... I won't bring anything. I wonder what that... that costs, that's got to be a low-cost card in the middle. This will bring... That won't move. Wait, but you're going to be 10. No, no, no. We'll put Magneto on the left. Yeah. I think that's the play. We might lose four cubes. I'm going to mute this guy because he probably thinks he's like super good at this game. So <laughs> I don't feel like looking at his little Miss Marvel. Oh, cool. Did we just win? <laughs> oh, oh, you poor guy. Oh wait, oh yeah, we won. Oh, oh, hey, oh, what just happened? Oh, what just happened? That's why you don't slap early. You never know when someone's just sitting there with a with a leech. <laughs> oh, somebody just posted a meme on Twitter. Another reason to uh follow me on Twitter. Here look, here, I'll show I'll show it to you guys. I'll show it to you guys because it made it made me it made me chuckle a little bit. So here you go. Wait, where is it? There you go. Every boot man every time someone first turns snaps. 
And I and I took that personally. I do. I do take that personally. I do. Very much so. Yeah. So uh, speaking of first turn snapping, I have another deck that I've been uh, playing around with that I'm going to make a video about. I'm hopefully going to make a second video today. I've been really, really busy. I have another pro. I have a cool project coming up that you guys are going to love. But I want to show you that. Look, look, he just shows up. He just shows up in your freaking hand. Right. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I've been super busy, but I'm hoping to make a video on that other deck I've been using. And yeah, when people first turn snap, -hoo -hoo -hoo, things do not go well for them. Dang, I have way too many cards. Like this is this is not a good game. So this this is another thing. Like so with lockjaw decks, uh, what I was saying was I don't like adding additional randomness to to the game. Like look at this. Look at this. What are you doing to me? Look, give me lockjaw. Just give me lockjaw. Like without lockjaw coming out, like lockjaw decks are just brutal. They are brutal. Look at this guy. Like, okay, so I'm making content right now. I'm making it for all of you. Do I wanna show you guys good cube management or do I just wanna play it through so you guys guess and see a, see a game where I lose some cubes? That's what I'm gonna be thinking about right now. So do I feel like losing two cubes to a guy who's running a two, two, two Cerebro deck? Is that what you're running? Is that what you're running? Yeah, nah, we'll do some good cube management, all right? Um, by the way, the Code Deco boys, they're at rank 408. I just checked in with them this morning. They're rank 408, and they're using a uh, they're using a surfer deck now. Like, it's just straight up surfer deck. I actually took a screenshot of it, if any of you guys want to see. Can you guys see this? Yeah, so I took a screenshot of it. Oh, wait, that's my deck. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, but it's a surfer deck. I'll see if I can find this, um, go back to their stream. But yeah, it's just basic server deck. They're running it up to, they're at over 400, right? It's just more proof that you don't need like crazy series five cards. Again, I do not count Silver Surfer or Zabu or any season pass card as a season five. All right, like 10 bucks, get it if you want to, if you can. It supports the game, great cards that basically they're worth $200. They've done the math. Uh, series five cards are about two hundred dollars okay so you can get it for ten dollars when the season pass comes up so hopefully you have silver surfer and yeah check out their deck it has like surfer they put chavez in it really interesting really really interesting oh man luciano uh i remember playing this guy in another video i recorded let's see how it goes oh hey lockjaw where are you so what you want is you want lockjaw in the deck and you don't or you want lockjaw in your hand you don't want mbaku all right so now right now we have neither Still have neither. All right. Let's see. Like I honestly, since having Mbaku, like he has not. Um... <laughs> I haven't had a single scenario where he's come out and uh, jumped out. I, I just haven't. Okay, so you're gonna give me Lockjaw. You're gonna pull Lockjaw in, or you're gonna pull like Wasp or something. Cool, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll do a little bit of that. Get a little, a little leechy, a little leech next turn. But look, all our high power cards are here. Like when I first got locked up, I'm like, oh man, this deck's so fun. Like it's cool, like, you know, whatever. But this, stuff like this happened. Like get out of here, Luciano. I'm not playing you. I'm playing you with this. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't I I I don't know. I don't know. Like I just don't know why people run these decks that are so random. Like I hope you all know as viewers, like we YouTubers and creators do this for fun. Like find me find me the lockjaw deck that made it to infinite. All right, just find it for me. Like I, I was so excited to get lockjaw. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Like, you know, cycles them through, but once you get new cards, and I think that's one of the big problems with a lot of people, right? Like I've made countless videos and I have a new series planned, right? Oh my God, I don't have series five cards. I can't win any matches. Oh my God, oh my God. No, like, and I and let me know down in the comments below. Like once you get a card, you realize how weak it actually is. You realize how the stars have to align perfectly 
for that card to work, right? Lockjaw is definitely one of those. I, I'm glad I didn't spend when I wasn't Series 3 complete. Glad I didn't buy him, right? Like, he's a fun he's a fun archetype, but, like, you're not you're not hitting infinite with this card. It is far too random. Like, I guess if you snap and retreat, like, intelligently, maybe. But, nah, man, nah. Jubilee, a lot of people have been running Jubilee lately um, with, like, uh, the Dracula decks and stuff like that. Uh, with the big power cards with Zabu. I get it, but still, still, there is that level of randomness that I'm just not a fan of. Like, just run decks where, like, no matter what you pull, you you still have a pretty decent chance of winning. You know what I mean? No matter what your starting hand is, you might win, you know? Look, oh, uh, look, look who's here. Look who's here. Oh, my God. Sick. Sick. I, I may need to try to run a Cerebro deck with Mbaku. Maybe that'll be the next one. Like, because this, this is this is getting ridiculous. Like, at least if he's on the board, I can Cerebro. You know what I mean? Ooh. So, like, right now, I'm chilling because I have a lot of high power cards in the deck. I probably just jinxed myself, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> Yeah, this is about it. This is about all we could do. Okay, Surfer. This will be a hard lane to beat. So what, what can I pull? Magneto, maybe? Jane would be nice. Jane Foster? Oh, thank you, Maximus. Why didn't he drop his Maximus over, over there? Magneto? Oh, that's too bad. I don't want to do this. What's still in my deck? I have Chavez and Jane. So yeah, neither one of those, it doesn't matter. So I can do that. Like neither one is um on reveal. So it doesn't matter if I drop it behind Cosmo. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Like what am I going to do next round? Yeah, I could Magneto next turn on the right and maybe pull some power away from middle. I think that's probably the best move. Yeah, that might be good. We could pull power away from middle. And we'll get a little bit more here. Wait, do I still? Oh yeah, this will pull Jane. Nice, this might actually work out. This might actually work out. Because even if they buff something over, oh geez. Oh my Lord. That doesn't work out. Oh, they don't have Surfer. Oh, they don't have Surfer. Nice, very cool. That was a cool, cool thing you did. That worked out. That worked out pretty well for us. So by the way, even though I'm not a fan of Chavez, that right there, what just happened to this person, that's one of the reasons those uh, Code Deco dudes, they run uh, Chavez. It increases the chance the server's gonna pop up. So they just had a bunch of, a bunch of uh, three cost cards. You know what I mean? All right, we'll get this one last game, see if we get M'Baku to stay in our deck and fly out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Dude, like, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. Like, did they, did they, did, like, Second Dinner purposely do something with the code on this card to make it so even though his whole deal is being in your deck, like, they made it like, oh, we're going to increase the chance that he shows up in your hand just to mess with people, just to screw with them just a little bit. Like they must have, right? Oh, cool. So now I can get, you know, nothing. 
That's that's awesome. A sick move. But he did just lower my Magneto and all my other six cost cards, so that's kind of sick. I've been noticing this so much lately. So much. The Iron Heart on turn three, and then they come in with like a Surfer or an Odin or, you know, whatever. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll do this just to get my... God, it's going to pull in Lockjaw, right? Let's see. There's a one in... One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh my lord. Hey, do you go off Lockjaw though? Because I placed you after? Nice. That's pretty cool. That's not cool. Oh! Retreat. Retreat. You're not going to retreat? You're not going to retreat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where you snap. Look, I have Jane and look, I'll just do that. Yeah, so they just magic, but I just hit. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do one more because that was just, that was nasty. Hey, M'Baku, stay in the deck. All right, we got one more game. Stay in the deck, sir. Oh my God. <laughs> It's it's Neil. So this is uh, this is a buddy from uh, Twitter, a uh, super cool guy. <laughs> oh my god, I, I gotta tell him that I'm recording. Look, Ambaku, Ambaku's just sitting right here. Oh my god, he's not even gonna get to see the. Oh yeah, he's been playing around with a Thanos deck. He hasn't been having luck. Him and I have been talking a lot on Twitter about how. Um, like just people do like people are overestimating the power of series five cards. Like him and I are, you know, quote unquote whales or whatever. And uh one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it, man. I don't want to play in Baku. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I guess I could have just not, but I, I want to get some power on the board. <laughs> let's see let's see what happens and he is also a viewer of the channel oh he's doing a little zoo style oh my lord <laughs> oh my god Look, and what do I do? Run Jane? Do I run this? Do I run, like, what do I do? I don't want to... Uh, God, I guess I could do this. Oh, my God. Wait, how many stones are there? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three. Does he have all six stones? There's Chavez. Here, he's been he's been losing he's been losing some rings, so we'll we'll give him this one. We'll give him this. Look, there's no way I win. There's no way I win. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> <I'm confident. laughs> oh my god. Hold on, I gotta I gotta message him immediately. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm glad we were able to donate some cubes. To our buddy uh, Neil over on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. You'll meet Neil. He's a cool guy. Um, but but yeah, like like I said, like Mbaku, like you can spend three thousand thousand tokens on this. No, don't be dumb like me. Don't be. Dumb. I'm a bad example. I'm a terrible example. All right. But um, but but yeah, like uh, I I think you know some final thoughts. Like just just know when you're watching. I I, I don't know. It could just be my luck. Luck. Even though I just made that video on the psychology of luck. By the way, go watch that video. Videos like that don't perform as well, and they are literally the most important videos I make. But anyways, uh, when you're watching videos and you're seeing like Mbaku fly out and it's like a, a fun, fun, silly time, like 
you're you're just seeing the highlights. You're just seeing like when Mbaku pops out. You're like you got to watch the streams. This is why I show you like all the all the matches. You know the losses, the wins. You know whatever. Like this card shows up in your hand. Like it is so useless. So uh, I might do another video trying him in a Cerebro deck. So that way, if he shows up in my hand, at least he's not just like a two two power card just sitting there. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. But anyways. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on M'Baku down in uh, the comments below, okay? But yeah, uh, again, I'm going to try to make another video. If it's not today, it'll be tomorrow with a really fun deck I've been using. Uh, and I got a bunch of cool announcements coming up. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, again, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything, any cool videos coming up and some cool announcements. So follow me with, uh, uh, over on Twitter too, down in the description, at BootmanMSTZ, doing monthly giveaways for the season pass. All right, Quantum Mania is coming up. You don't want to miss that. And yeah, that's all I got. So yeah, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.